Hello, this is Dr. Luca again. Almost every day, one of my patients says, Dr. Luca, please give me contact lenses that I can sleep in. That's the moment when I start cringing. Yes, there are contact lenses that have been approved by government agencies to sleep in. Some of them really for extended period of time. Now, is this the best option for your eye? And here I have to explain a few things. The front of your eye, the clear dome that we call cornea, the very surface of it gets most of its oxygen from tears. It gets oxygen that is dissolved in tears. So every time we blink, we distribute new layer of tears, new oxygen that is available to the front of your eye. Now, what happens when you go to bed and we sleep? We close your eyes. We cut down on access to the oxygen from the atmosphere. We don't stimulate new tears to be produced because blinking helps to drain them and, and pushes new tears. So we cut down about 19-20% of ox oxygen supply to the surface of the eye. On the top of it, under eye, our eyelids, there is a lens that by itself cuts down on supply of oxygen. The surface tissue becomes deprived of oxygen, which we call hypoxia, and causes swelling. This swelling, if it's repeated time after time after time, it can cause some permanent damage to the surface of your eye. That's why when you go to your doctor, he looks at your eye and says, hey, why do you sleep in your contact lenses? How do you know that I sleep in contact lenses? That's because we see. We see a little tiny dry spots on the surface. The dr every dry spot, it means few cells died and fell off. We also see blood vessels invading the clear cornea. They grow inside. Why do they grow over there? Because they try to supply oxygen that is missing on the surface of your eye. If this was all, it wouldn't be such a horrible thing. But whenever your tissue or your skin is damaged with constant swelling, with the loss of some of those protective layers of cells, it gives a chance for bacteria to invade and create corneal ulcers. And corneal ulcers, depending on what type of bacteria invaded you, they can be sometimes very dangerous, they can be side threatening Most of them can be treated with antibiotic, but even those, they leave a scar. If the scar is in the center of your vision, guess what? Your vision is affected. And people say, yeah, doc, I see pretty good, but there is still this haze. Then the only way to get rid of this haze is actually to surgically polish and remove the scar from ulcer. If this scar is too deep, well, there is nothing we can do about it. So remember, there are contact lenses that are approved for sleeping in. Is this smart idea? Not really. Just like your clothing items, your shoes are approved for sleeping in, your overcoat is a sleeping, approved for sleeping in. Do you sleep in those? No, because it doesn't feel right. I want you to think the same way about contact lenses. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more eye-related content and leave a comment below if you have any questions about anything eye-related, because when you see better, you live better.